Hello everyone and welcome back to Tapcraft. Today oh what tools have I got? Today I well wait on a minute, what did I say we would um we would have a look at here? So between episodes I said to fill in the cow pen, which I did. I don't think you can see from here, but I did. And in this episode I said we'd either go caving or do a crop far. Now um I don't know. I'm actually quite down for doing some caving. Um, the votes I got, they split two ways. Um, it was a choice between caving or crop farm, and each got one vote. And there was also a vote for me to build a dock, which I will get round to at some point. Um, just to make uh, getting in and out of my boat and stuff a lot easier. Um, however, I do need to do a little bit more experimentation with um, with dry docks and stuff, basically. So that's what's going to happen, and I'm going to give it a while before I move on to that. Or oh, should make a few more torches. Actually, I'll just make a couple more. Excuse me. Sorry. Don't mean to be sniffling all over the place. So let me. Oh. I still haven't moved everything down into storage yet. Don't know if you can tell. <laughs> I I will I'll get round to it, but um, for now, there's not a lot going on. So, if we're going caving, the first mission on the oh, I added a few more bookshelves to the enchanting room as well, which means that now we can get up to level twenty-four. So um, that's probably actually as high as I need to go. Um, I've found that I or I seem to have the best luck with enchanting when I not only um, in choose the enchantment with the uh, double pointy breasts, but also when the it, when it's level 22. So I'm not really going to be looking to go much higher on the enchanting table. I think 24 is probably high enough. So, give us a shout if you spot an egg, or a cave, <laughs> and we'll, uh, oh there's another one, we will have a little nosy. It would be good if we could interact in real time. That's uh, obviously the advantage of being able to do live streams, but I'm uh, still not really in a position to be doing them at the moment. I think I need a... Uh, I need reassurance that there will be more people watching the live streams than just two or three people. So we'll get round there. We'll get round to live streaming at some point. But for now, I, I'm going to wait it out. So what have we got? Oh, I've clearly already been down here. <laughs> well, what have we got here? Oh, it's somewhere I've been. Okay, that's fine. We'll just keep... Hello, sheepy. We'll just keep looking around. There's got to be caves somewhere, right? After all... This is Minecraft, the place of caves. Oh, we could um go down to the cave by the skeleton spawner. Let's do that. Why have I... I haven't got the things turned on. I haven't actually got any. Why, where did they go? Huh. Interesting. Okay, well... Huh. Fair enough, I'll just have to mark them again. Did that cactus just grow? Oh, or that one. One of them just grew, I'm sure. I'll have to look that back in editing. Ah, oh dear. Well, I will see you when we reach the, um, the, uh, the cave. Until then, please enjoy um, this quick split frame that I'm going to edit in. Da -da 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 -da. The sun is setting over desert lands. The pyramid of the gods watches over the dunes. Yeah. Ah, here we are. It's been a while since we've been here. It's been a while since I've been here on my own, actually. I haven't been over here for quite some time. Still. Oh, we should just make sure it all works. Should do. The game hasn't updated since we was last here. Oh, there's a zombie around already. So, are you going to work for us? Dunno. Just going to eat this carrot and wait. 
Ah, here they come. Hey there. Let's just test it on one. I haven't got time to wait for loads. Wait, get back in there. Not bad. Okay. Let me just flip that up. Okay then. So, oh, well, let's start by heading around this way. Because I haven't been this way yet. Oh. Why is the water flowing upwards here? It shouldn't happen. Well, it looks like it's flowing upwards anyway. Oh, lovely coal. I've already got quite a lot of coal. I don't really need more, but I'm a sucker for resources in the wall. If I see resources in the wall, then they must be mine. They shall be mine. And we'll try and keep it as well as possible so we don't get any nasty surprises when we're leaving this place later on. As is what normally happens. I have no real need for the water source to be there. All it's doing is just holding my enemies at bay. Ah yes, iron. Most fruitful. Doop doop. Can hear a zombie grumbling. No idea where he is though. <laughs> yeah, he's very near, unless he's just out on the surface up there. That might be it, but I don't know, because I thought I could hear him grumbling from before we got in here. Like, as he was going down the staircase, and there weren't any monsters on the surface then. Ah oh, well, maybe he is just on top. Ah, <sighs> Good old caving. Very therapeutic actually quite enjoy doing the caving. Normal, um, I don't know, like, sometimes I feel like it shouldn't be done on camera because it can be quite kind of, um, just, well all you're doing is just dig in and it might get a bit kind of monotonous to watch but, I don't know, I think it's, oh, excuse me, I think sometimes, you know, it's quite good shows all aspects of the game which is something I think an LP should do you know it should an LP should be something that entertains firstly and it should also I think give you a good overview of what the game is and what you can do in the game and I guess you know mining is a big part of this game so it should be included in an LP of it to some degree maybe you know, maybe it's wrong to include every single caving expedition you ever embark upon in the LP, but I think it should be included to a degree at the very least, just to just to kind of show, look, this is also part of the game, you know, it's not all about building absolutely amazing things all the time. You do have to put in a bit of hard work to make those brilliant things happen. Okay, so that's everything this way. Now Let's head down into the depths here. It's the wrong theme song, but whatever. There's a spider. I heard a spider hissing. There's a spider hissing here. He wants my attention. Such a malleable kind of tune. <laughs> you can do anything you want with that tune. Originally it was there's a zombie on the lawn, there's a zombie on your lawn. But uh, we've done quite a lot with it, I think, and um, I think we shall continue to do so. Of course the tune is from the video game Plants vs Zombies, made by PopCap Games. It's a very good game. Very simple, but very entertaining at the same time. At least I think anyway. I saw a Nintendo Capri Sun do it. Um, and it was it was quite entertaining to watch him do it. See that's an odd thing as well, right? With with his um his username is written all as one word, Nintendo Capri Sun. And you know, a Capri Sun is a kind of drink. And Normally, I would call it a Capri Sun, but his username is, to me, always Nintendo Capri Sun, even though it's Nintendo Capri Sun. 
I don't know. I was having a bit of a debate about this the other day, whether it is actually Capri or Capri. And I always think it's Capri Sun. But it seems quite a few people think it's Capri Sun. Which is fine. You know, it's all about kind of linguistic diversity, I guess, is the most complicated way I can word that. <laughs> but no, you know, everyone has a different way of pronouncing things. So, you know, whatever. But I always thought it was Capri Sun. However, like I say, a lot of people seem to reckon it's Capri Sun. Capri Sun. So it kind of muffled the sun a bit. Oh, that would be an achievement enough, wouldn't it? Pardon me, I seem to have just muffled the sun. <laughs> oh, ravine, I think. That's what that looked like behind me anyway. Just going to try and light up a little bit better around here. Not that that will prevent the mobs that are already here, but it will prevent future ones. Another thing about uh, pronunciation was the um, was a Ribena because you know as you might be able to tell I pronounce it Ribena which is again another kind of drink and it's a sort of fruit juice it's really nice um, like blackcurrant and they do strawberries as well and they do orange I think and apple they do, they just tend to do like really nice fruit juices and you know. I have always called it Ribena, but met someone the other day who pronounced it Ribena, which if that's how you're going to pronounce it, that's fine. <laughs> but I don't know, Ribena just seems really weird. I, I have always assumed it to be Ribena and Capri Sun, but evidently this person thought it was Capri Sun and Ribena, which I don't know, just seems a little bit odd. Ah, uh, these man there somewhere. I can hear him scuttling now. I think he's through there. That's fine. The one thing I hate about the spiders in this game is when they are high up, tucked away in a little alcove in the ceiling, and then you walk underneath, and then BAM! They just drop onto you like they own you. Oh, it's terrifying. Um what would be the best way to go about this? Yeah, so we've got this ravine here. Oh, looks interesting. Quite a bit of gold in there. Um, I think we're going to head this way because it looks like it will lead a bit further down into the ravine. We'll be able to get a bit more grounding on it. If grounding is the right word I'm looking for, which I don't think it is. Oh, no, look, it just dead ends. But it does dead end with some lupus, which is always nice. Do 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 And iron. It's been quite productive so far. We're doing well, look at that. I just wish I'd bought some wood for more torches so we could stay down here, really. That's one thing I always tend to forget. I always tend to forget like um backup resources and stuff. Like um a crafting table so I can make more picks while I'm down here and sticks for coal and stuff sometimes I'm good and sometimes I remember but a lot of the time I don't I don't know why just because I imagine the longer I stay down here the more likely I am to get lost and run out of inventory space which will cause problems for me hmm there's a lot of branches going on around here. Quite a fan, but also not a fan at the same time. Oh no. I mean, I'm a fan because, you know, more goodies, but also more chance to get lost. Which is a problem. Mind you, I'm quite good, I think. I don't, I don't tend to get lost all that often. And if I do, it doesn't take me long to try and work out where I am again. But, having said that, first time for everything, here we are in a brand new cave system. It's already gone down to lava level. We're already now, we're on level 11. Ideal for the redstone and the diamonds. Well, what do you want me to do about it, you stupid creature? You flew in there, weren't me? Pratt. Mind you. Now now we have found lava, I don't need to put up as many torches down here, which means that I can... Excuse me. Which means that I can 
probably stay down here as long as I'm digging around the lava a little bit. This is how I tend to skirt lava pools because there's often resources tucked around in these little crevices in lava pools. So what I tend to do is I just tend to dig a too wide pathway and uh, make it too tall as well and then this gives me a nice amount of room to manoeuvre on and it means I may uncover a few more resources than I would have normally. I think I've gone over this before in one of the hardcore series um, probably the first one because I think that was the one where I got shot by the skeleton right next to lava oh that was that was certainly a thing <laughs> yeah let's set about hardcore the better because after all hardcore series 3 was a bigger train wreck than the map that was so titled Trainwreck Islands you know tra Trainwreck Islands you know, good 20 episodes out of that, and it was good, we did well with it. Hardcore Season 3, on the other hand, well, that was abysmal. <laughs> Five episodes and then death, because I did something I said I wouldn't do. Oh, sorry if no one has se if people haven't seen Hardcore Series 3 yet, I may have just spoiled the ending, but, uh... <laughs> Oh, I won't. I won't spoil how I died because I thought I think it was. Looking back on it, I mean, I was mortified at the time, but looking back on it, it was actually pretty hilarious. <laughs> I won't say any more about it. I'll let you watch it. Ooh, don't be lava. I died in lava the other day on the Netrock server. How dire! <laughs> Fortunately, I didn't have that much valuable on me. I only had some redstone and. Stuff. I think it was actually quite a bit of redstone, so it was a little bit upsetting. But, you know, oh, I did lose some good picks as well. I had like my Fortune 2 pick on me and stuff, but never mind, you know, you you recover. And I'm doing alright for resources and stuff anyway, so it's not like I'm. I'm not too disappointed on it. I mean, redstone. Uh, on that server I've practically got the stuff coming out of my ears I've got so much of it you know I mean I think that's kind of good for me everyone else seems to be swimming in diamonds or emeralds and stuff like that me on the other hand I have got redstone and cobblestone coming out my ears I've got so much of it it's ridiculous <laughs> wish it was the same on here actually I would love to have a load of redstone and stuff um, I will be right back in a second. Just give me a bit. And we're back. Okay. Sorry about that. I was uh, just doing a little preliminary check. I like to try and keep track of how long I'm recording for nowadays. Sometimes I'm a bit rubbish and go well over. Take the first episode of Netrock, for example. That was... Yeah, that was very long. <laughs> but I think I think that one's allowed to be very long, considering, you know that was the first episode of a new thing and all of that there was a lot to kind of show off and get done in that episode look at this cave we're coming up to the pyramid it's definitely going on I think whoopsie daisy we're gonna have to be careful about how we came now because obviously I uh, have no more torches which isn't a good thing, you know, I can't really go off on any more branches now, I just have to, when I run out of picks or inventory space, just head straight on home. Next time I will remember to bring a crafting kit and wood so that we can make the basics while we're down here, so we can make picks and torches and stuff like that. Everything else you can find down here, I mean, you get the cobble for pick materials and then you can even make a furnace if uh, if you need to melt down iron for for a new better pick or something like that and then you can obviously find the coal and iron down here in abundance so I think as long as you have some wood when you go into a cave you should be fine but I'm pretty bad at having wood <laughs> when I'm in a cave I just can't I just, I just don't seem to remember to bring it with me mine shafts is a different story I've always got things on me in mine shafts because they are vast and so easy to get lost in. So I always have crafting kits on me and also all the wood is in ready like it's really available. So 
I, I just bring and if I don't bring anything with me then I can easily make it all down there so it's all it's much easier for me in a mine shaft to remember or to dooby dooby doo to uh, do it when I'm down in the mine shaft but I don't always when I just go naturally caving which is fine though I, like I say I think that kind of um, helps you keep tabs on what you're doing it stops you getting too kind of lost or overloaded and then if you die you lose a heap of resources and you get all down about it and stuff like that so sometimes I think it's good to not have a way to replenish your stocks when you're naturally caving just to uh, just to just for yourself basically so you don't get all run down and demoralized when it all goes wrong which it inevitably does no matter how careful you are I had a horrifying thought just then when I was digging out the coal that there would be lava underneath it and when I stepped forward to get it I would fall in the lava <laughs> that would be the definitive case and point scenario I don't care what other case and point scenarios you can think of there would have been none other that would have been better than that although thankfully that didn't happen because <laughs> if it did then I might have I might have tested how well this mic copes with me shouting faster than I had originally planned right let's put these down in here and put one there why not grab these and I'm gonna fill that in and then that is this lava pool conquered you know, I, I, I like to fill in the gaps it kind of it makes sure that everywhere is still lit enough how's it doing in there that looks very dark yeah best block that up I mean I think this whole cave is probably gonna have some rubbish lighting in it but whatever like here this must be a seven. Oh no it is just an eight fair enough so we could go up there next time or we could go off one of these other branches next time <laughs> still so much to do in here and that's the ravine which is fine then we can head off this way and then we will get out of here ooh laggy McJefferson we don't want any of you climbing up the rafters through my caving trip going up here and I'm gonna get out but uh, Da, 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 da. We're not getting out that way. We're going out this way. Whoop whoop. Get up. Get out. Get up. Get on out. Get up. Uh, get on up. <laughs> oh, marvelous. Did we get out through here? Is this where it was? Ah, ha, ha. Yes, it was. Because I recognize that lump of cobble in the wall from where I replaced water. And then, of course, there's this lump of cobble in the wall. <laughs> Oh look, I've got clouds on. I don't normally play with clouds, but I've uh, I've got clouds on now, so um, that's that's a thing. I'm gonna put the skeleton spawner point back in because I'm not quite sure why that's not there anymore. Never mind. Still think I should level that pyramid. What do you reckon? Should we tear down the pyramid? It's not doing anything now that it's there, is it? It's, I mean, we we plundered it. Should we leave it there, or should we destroy it, or make something out of it? If um, I tell you, what, if anyone has any ideas for something that we can make using that pyramid, then let me know, and we'll leave it standing. Otherwise, unless there's strong protest, I'll rip it down one day. How about that? Yeah. Okay. Cool. <laughs> it's gonna eat on a carrot while there's no mobs around. Then the world's going to generate. Thank you. <laughs> hey, spider. Get out of it. I think I need myself some vines as well, actually. I need to bring shears over here with me. Because, of course, vines are actually rather useful. You know, not only for climbing, but I forgot until yesterday that creepers can't see through vines. I'm not sure about the other mobs. But... Yeah, if you just hide behind a couple of vines, then the creepers can't see you, and I think that's great. It's a great little feature. You know, not only is it practical, but it's just something nice and quirky. You know, this game's full of quirky coolness and 
creepers not being able to see through vines is just another one of those. <laughs> okay, ooh, well we should have gone down there really. Okay, note taken for next time, there's a bunch of caves here at the, uh, at the swamp nearby the home that we can go into. Hi there! Thanks. Did he just give me a bow? Oh, he only did, but he did shoot me through the eye, which is a bit of a problem. Oh, incidentally, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on the end of this video, right? Incidentally, thank you to the person who sent some fan art to the Tap Productions Facebook page. It was really cool. I loved it. Thank you so much, and I'll stick it on the end of the video along with um the uh, the guy's name I can't remember what it is at the moment I'm really sorry about that but I'll, I'll put his name on it as well and he's like it was just such a cool thing and totally unexpected as well didn't ask for anything but he just did it and it was brilliant it looked great so thank you very much for doing that and if anyone else does have anything like that that they want to show me then by all means do you know if you've if you are the artist and you've done yourself some fan art or you know if you're good with placing down the wall blocks and that and you've built me in Minecraft or something then show it to me because I would love to see it it's all really cool it's all really good stuff and it would be really cool to see it all as I've said a, a variety of ways just then <laughs> but yeah do do show me because I, I would love to see it all ah oh. And we are home, sweet home. Nom, 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 nom. Okay. So I'm going to put our spoils of war away. And then I'm going to go down to the coming up sign. And we're going to see what we can, what we're going to do next time. Okay, so we've got a bunch of cobble there. That's okay. Some gravel. Sand and dirt. Know your place, and and food-based item. No, none of that. Okay, so we got nine bits of redstone, two plus one stacks of coal, which is phenomenal, really. Forty-four iron. We're doing great, and fifteen lupus. That's all very nice. Then, if we come over to this chest here, we have some bones, we have an eye, and we have some studding. And last but not least, over here we have three cacti. Pilly lads and some eggs. Chicken farm. Need a chicken farm. And the bow can go in here. What's that? Ah, Fortune 1. Oh, we'll get onto that at some point. Okay, so now, between now and the next episode, I will do something. I'm going to um, design a dry dock for building out here. Okay, I'm going to design a dry dock and then next episode I'm probably going to build it if it's um, small and then also do the crop farm as well. Okay, sound like a plan? Excellent. So I will see you in the next episode for more things. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.